Hey, how's it going guys? Mr. Boss for the win here, and in today's GTA 5 video, we're going to be talking about a huge secret change that Rockstar ended up making to the inside track horse racing at the Diamond Casino and Resort. So over the last couple of weeks, and really since this DLC has come out, we've talked about how the inside track horse racing is one of the easiest and most profitable new modes that they've added. If you adjust the odds in your favor and you select the right horse and with a few tips and tricks up your sleeve, you can become a millionaire quite quickly. Well, it seems like Rockstar have caught on to this and have made some changes in preparation for that. So the other day, Rockstar apparently tried to fix one of the money glitches that we actually discussed on the channel the other day. This comes from Rockstar Insider Tez Funds 2. He put out this tweet where he said a new background update happened today. That was on July 31st, where it was supposed to fix the casino limousine service, a few other glitches, and the $100 inside track glitch. Although he said it's not 100% effective. So when I saw that tweet, I ended up hopping on today and I wanted to test this for myself. Now I am playing on PC using an Xbox 360 controller and I tried the exact same thing where I placed my bet of the minimum amount, 100 chips, and then hit up on the D-pad and then increased my bet as the race was going on. And sure enough, it doesn't look like it's all that been effectively patched. As you guys can see there, I bet 100 chips on Lonely Stepbrother who was a three to one odds. So normally I'm only supposed to get 400 chips, but instead I ended up getting 40,000 chips. So you can see that that is not really all that effective. Maybe it works sometimes, maybe it doesn't work other times. I had no problem still doing it. So when I'm recording this video, which is on Friday, August 2nd, this doesn't seem as if something that Rockstar has tackled. Now that's the first change that they tried to make, although that's not the main one I'm talking about in this video today. The main one comes from what Rockstar did today on Friday, August 2nd. So again, Insider Tez Funds 2 put out this tweet earlier today. He said this, Inside Track, now if you back out and log in too many times to change your odds, the game will punish you for one hour. You can switch or wait sessions this confirms that Rockstar will adjust the inside track in the future. Oh man, are you kidding me? So if you guys don't know what Tez Funds 2 is talking about here, uh, there's two types of horse racing you can do. You can do the main event, which is like the public event where the horse odds remain the same and it's on like a five minute countdown. And then you've got these single events where it's just you and these six horses. And by backing out of the computer and re-logging in, you can get a different set of odds with each horse. And sometimes the horse racing odds are more profitable and more beneficial. And that's even something that I have said you should do when utilizing the inside track. Get the horses that give you the best chance of winning. Now we're not gonna be diving into the specifics in this video, I will leave a link in the description that will give you a better idea on what that's like but it looks like Rockstar have tried to fix this. So I wanted to log into the game and see if I could generate what he was talking about. And this is what I was doing. I was backing in and out. And you guys can see there, I got a message or an alert on my screen that says, you don't have enough chips to play inside track. Speak to the cashier to acquire more. Well, I was like, what the heck? I've got 1.7 million chips. So it looks like this is the hot fix that Rockstar made. If you spam going in and out of the single event menu to reload your odds, you will be banned from the inside track. Now, Tez Funds 2 said the game will punish you for one hour. So if you remain in that session, you won't be able to play for one hour. Now, I wanted to test if this was true because one hour is a long time. I mean, what if you were accidentally just backing in and out like that? Would Rockstar punish someone that didn't know any better? So what I ended up doing was basically just going outside to one of the slot machines because I just stood there seeing if it would go away within like a minute or two. And the answer is no. So what I did is I went to the slot machines and I placed a bet for like the lowest amount possible just to give myself minus five chips. And then I ended up returning to the inside track horse racing and voila, I was able to go back to betting. 
So I don't know if Tez Funds 2 just got some false information or if it's supposed to be an hour, but if you just bet on the slot machines, it uh, basically resets your punishment. Now there is a couple of ways to get around that. That's the first way that I talked about right there. The next way is you can still do like the backing in and out. You just can't go at light speed. You basically have to wait like three to five seconds before reloading the odds. So basically, if you get a set of horses you don't like, uh, back out and then count like one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three, four, five, and then go back in. What Rockstar is trying to prevent is like the super spam of going in and out, in and out, and reloading the odds. Because as you guys can see here, I'm doing the exact same thing where I'm going back and forth until I get the horse that I want. And uh, I'm having no problem with it. So basically, you just can't spam the game uh, and you will be able to continue going about doing, number one, the same money glitch that we talked about in a previous video, but also number two, where you can re-roll the odds of the horses. Now, something interesting did happen to me because I wanted to actually see if I could get punished again to see what would happen. So this time I was intentionally going too fast and sure enough, I ended up getting the boot where I don't have enough chips and I have to speak to the cashier. Now, when this happened a second time, I thought to myself, okay, no problem. I'll just go get on a slot machine and I'll lose some chips, no big deal. Well, this time when I got on a slot machine, something weird happened. That inside track punishment like broke the rest of my game. I couldn't even play the slot machines. Every time I was hitting spin, it would say minus zero chips. And it said something like Rockstar Game Servers could not process this transaction. Please try again. Uh, check out their support page for outages, maintenance. There was no maintenance going on or anything like that. You know, I was in the servers. I was getting invites from other players. It just simply broke my game. It was the weirdest thing ever. And I tried a multitude of slot machines to make sure that it just wasn't that one. But no, it turns out that I like I couldn't do anything. So once that happened, I returned to the inside track. And for whatever reason, it allowed me to sit right back down and start betting again. So I don't know if that was like a weird glitch or if it was broken. Again, Insider Tez Funds 2 said it's supposed to be one hour or you can switch sessions. Either I found a really clever workaround or it actually isn't one hour and you just have to like go do something for like two minutes and come back. Or you can do what I did and just go slowly when you're switching back and forth and uh, you won't have any issues of getting that punishment. Now you might be asking yourself, why did Rockstar make this change? Because if they didn't want people to do this, they wouldn't have implemented that in the first hand where you could re-roll the odds of the horses. They would have made it static for everyone. I think the reason Rockstar has implemented this is because currently going around, there is like an AFK horse betting glitch. Now I don't know how it works. It's uh, way over my head and I really don't understand it. So I think Rockstar is trying to crack down on people being AFK and still being able to bet and gamble at the horse racing track. And I also wonder if Rockstar thinks you're going so fast that maybe you're running like a macro on your computer and Rockstar is trying to crack down on stuff like that. Those are my two theories on why I believe Rockstar might be doing this. They also might be doing it because they don't want people to have nice things. I think they have realized that it is ultra easy to make money at the horse racing stuff, like ultra easy compared to all the other game modes they added. Blackjack, slots, poker, roulette. Uh, by far the inside track horse racing is the, the most sensible and also the most profitable. Now, getting back to what Insider Tez Funds 2 said, he said this confirms that Rockstar will adjust the inside track in the future. Now, I don't know what that means. I don't know if this means it will happen in a future update, like in December, or if Rockstar will put out an emergency patch to actually fix inside track. We've seen them do this in the past when other aspects of their DLC is broken. In fact, we even saw them do that in the Diamond Casino and Resort update. Like two days after the update came out, Rockstar had to introduce another update that we had to download. And we've, again, seen this in previous videos when either vehicles are super broken or something just goes wrong. So I wonder if that will happen here. And if that is the case, that might happen within a few days. 
or it could take a couple of months, depending on how much Rockstar can do to patch it with tunables and background scripts uh, versus how much they would have to do in like an actual update. Now, if I had to take a guess on what those changes will be, I think that Rockstar will eliminate the ability to re-roll the inside track stuff when you're playing solo, meaning that if you click on them, even if you back out and come back in, you will get the same odds unless you either A, switch sessions, or B, you end up betting on that race and then a new set will come about, or they will add a similar time limit to what we see on the main event. It might not be five minutes, but it might be something like one or two minutes just to add a little bit of a slowdown and prevent people from just being able to consistently make money. Because Rockstar want you to be able to make money, but they don't want you to like rob the casino blind, which is what a lot of people are able to do with the inside track right now. But anyways, I'd love to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about this entire story regarding the inside track, the secret changes that Rockstar have made, the amount of money that you can make, and what do you think Rockstar will end up doing in the future? Let me know your thoughts, opinions, and more in the comments down below. I'd love to hear from you guys down there. If you did go on to enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And remember to subscribe if you guys are new or you want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA 5 casino news, info, videos, and more. And ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.